Hey guys, it's Creative Redundancy back again here with another video, and this video will be part of a video series on free cycling, recycling, and reusing items from everyday or very common day-to-day -day, uh, type of stuff to be reused or repurposed for the sake of camping or an SHTF type of situation. In this video, I will be showing off the syrup containers from the brand of SodaStream. Now, if you don't know what SodaStream is, you can Google it. It's basically a home carbonization system to create your own pop, and these are the syrup containers that come with it. This one here, I got the lemonade one, right? But what can you do with something like this? First of all, it makes a pretty good container, right? You can hold liquids in here, like water, or any other types of liquids in here without spilling it out. It has a wide mouth, right? So you, it's very good for uh, putting stuff into. The lid right here, let's say you have a, fl a flashlight, or your mag light, or LED light. You could put your light on the inside and create a different color with it like red, yellow, or whatever. Won't be as good as like a true red LED, but might help if you want to preserve your night vision if you have the red one of these. And in this demonstration, I will be showing off how water resistant and submerge proof and rain resistant it is. Here's a dry piece of paper towel right here, right? Perfectly dry. I'm going to stuff it in here, stuff it in here, and put the lid on. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Alright, I did it off camera, but I've tightened this up as tightly as I can get it here. Do it a little bit more, All right, and then just merge it into water right here. Not as you could tell, it floats, obviously, so if you squeeze it downstream or whenever, or in a river or a lake or a pond, it should float. But let's say it sinks because you got weight in it, fire starters, your dry tinders in there, and you know, maybe your extra cell phone battery, your extra charger, maybe you have a battery pack in here, right? Or some sort of other electronics or fire starting capabilities, right? As you can see, I'm pushing down on it. You see no bubbles. Stay tuned. In about five minutes or so, we'll be back, and I'll open it up, and you can see the inside. All right, we're back again. I've gone ahead and dried out the outside and opened it up slightly, so I can actually open it with one hand on camera. As I open it up here, as you can see. It is still dry. So it can be used to keep tinders, electronics dry, providing that you, when you first put your stuff in, you turn it and seal the cap, turn the cap as hard as you can. All right? And you should not be able to uh, squish air out of it after that time. All right. So you shouldn't be able to squish it afterwards. There shouldn't be any air bubbles. Right, like so, no air bubbles. All right, guys. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. And remember, with a little creativity, even you can make a system or have containers that are waterproof. So store water. Double as filters for your flashlight, keep your tinders dry, your fire starters dry, your matches dry, your lighter dry, maybe your cell, spare cell phone battery dry, your USB cables for your phone dry, etc, etc. Alright guys, please subscribe and share this video with your other friends on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and your other YouTube friends. Alright guys. It's creative redundancy. I'll catch you next time on the next video. Peace.